how to source product from Argos or any other big slab player. I'll show you the Argos. So what you do if you're dropshipping Argos product onto eBay platform, this is what you do. Normally, how do you find out what they're selling or not selling? So the best thing to you log into your eBay account. Right, then you go over to where it says advance here. Yeah, go to advance. Right, come around here. Right here, what you do is on your left hand side is it says advanced search, find item by seller, bidder, item number, item in the shop, find shop. So what you do is you select a seller. Right, so you go up and then enter keyword or item number. So you'll put Argos. Argos in there. Okay, so come down a bit. Now all country. Now what you do is you put click tick buy only and then tick sold listing okay and then you want to put the amount so I normally put 20 to 150 this is a rough idea now these are new product okay and then here yeah, so we put down buy only buy it on, but sorry buy it now and we ticked listing ending last seven days here. All right, so we go down. We don't have to worry about all this location. All right, okay. And I come down. And then what we do, we just hit the search button. Down here, we will hit the... Okay, let's see if I can... Show you the search button is right down there. Anyway, at the bottom of the screen you see a search button. All right, you hit the search. Okay, now here we go. Now that gives here, as you can see. Let's go down a bit. Sorry, my sorry, my monitor is such a, uh, it's a huge monitor. That's why I have to ziggle the the screen back and forward. Right here, as you can see, we have eleven thousand two hundred and sixty four results within last seven days. So that's the amount of item Argos has sold within that period. Um, Argos eBay shop, that is Argos eBay. They've sold, look at these items, they sold uh, on the 18th of August, look. Old drove, there's the list of items they sold. Now these are all Argos items okay so so we know th what they're sold now the, the, the other thing to do now we know we're selling because Argos is a major player so we've seen all the items they're selling so on the left hand side on the menu side of thing category all all these items they're sold okay so you can search narrow your search down by using this category list on the left hand side if you want to sell a doorbell so you click the doorbell and then it's six result look six results on doorbell how many they sold and there we are so there's uh, one video ring video doorbell they sold that for 89 pound again there's another ring video and now they sold well as doorbell for $19.99, $12.99 you can go on and on all the doorbells they sold within the last seven days right and so on and so forth now literally looking at their item list and their item sold list you can narrow down to a product you can sell using Argos dropshipping right you got loads and loads and stuff look you can look at the garden and what they've sold and and furnitures and that really gives you an idea of what sort of item argos are selling 
over the last seven days on their eBay uh, Argos eBay platform okay so basically what you do if you're thinking of um, for example if you're thinking of do, uh, selling something of them so what you do is so for example say doorbell you're gonna sell that video doorbell they sell for 89 pound now so the best thing to do is click on the link all right and that will go to their list look let's come to their list Argos, Argos listing on eBay, look, see Argos there, and now they're sold, look, the amount, 172 of those doorbells, the video doorbells, 172 of them, and how often they're selling, literally every single day, look, 17, 17, they sold 3, 8, 1, 2, 3, 3 on the 17, August, 15, August, yes, huge seller, look. And they give you the color, like bronze or nickel, bronze or nickel, can you see? So you decide which one you want to sell, whether a nickel one or bronze one. So look at the item, look at the number of sales, and you weigh which one's the better sell. So basically what you do, you, you go in, pick this product, you know, you can copy all the photos, copy their copy the description here right so they're selling at um, 89 quid now you're not gonna make any money selling in 89 quid here so the only way to compete against is to see what other people selling this product right so if we do a little search how to do the search to find out Right, this is the way to do it, okay? So you copy ring video doorbell, okay? And you say, Nicole up to Nicole, don't put bronze or whatever, just, just put Nicole up to here. Okay, Nicole. Don't use all of that because they have Argos stores in it, so that they will give you the listing of Argos. So we put in eBay and we do a little search. Right, here we are, and we can see there is the first one, the Argos one. If we go down, there is another chap selling for $79.99. There is PC World selling $89.99. There's $78.99. 99. Now there's one guy selling for 106 per year. Right, if we were to click this, right, so he sold five of this, look, he sold five of this at £106.46, £106.46, the same doorbell, okay, the same stuff, but what he has done here, look, what it is, is optimized title for Wi-Fi ring doorbell HD video motion detection, okay? So that's, and it's selling them. So if you were to say £106.41, okay? And there's another one sold for 100 right? So this is the highest amount, 115, there's another guy, £115, okay? There's another one selling for 174 here. Five watching. Look at that. Has it sold any? Let's have a look. Apparently no. So, right. So, how do we find out if there's any profit in this? Okay, this is how you do it because you got to factor in eBay's fee. You got to factor in um, Argus's delivery charge. So, if we buy this product from Argos at 89 quid and then add their post in postal service at £3.95, just say 4 quid, okay, that will be £93. So that comes to £93. So, you buy this product for £93 from Argos. You sell that product at 100 and so where did we go? 
Yeah, uh, is lost it now. Am I? Yeah, 106 quid for 106 pound. Right. Is that it? That's it, yeah. 100 and... Right, so how do we work out profit on that? Okay, so what we do, we'll go to another program. Add me a circle. So we enter a eBay calculator, eBay UK free and profit calculator. If you search that eBay UK free and profit calculator into Google search, this is a free tool, or you can put www. Uh, cell s a l e c a l c dot com. Right, let me go up and show you on that. There we go. I don't know if you can see s a l e s sales s a l e c a l c dot com, and that calculator will come up. Or just type in eBay UK free and profit calculator, and you will get that come. And this tool will actually tell you everything, the, the, the fees, um, PayPal fees and profit margin and how much you have to sell. So, so how, how do we work this one out? So basically what we did, we know the product is selling in 89 pound plus 395 shipping from Argos. So that becomes uh, 93 quid. All right, so we buy for £93, so we're going to put £93 here, and then this program will actually calculate, look, it shows you 3.44% plus 20p, uh, 0 to 1500 sell limit, so this is the PayPal fee, right, and this will, this will work out how much profit yeah, because here, because we're not paying for any shipping or anything like this, so we do we have to leave a blank. Uh, because we're using Argos to sell it. If we if we're not using Argos, if we just literally go and we can do the other option, we can go and buy the stuff from Argos, bring it home and shift it ourselves. But then then that will cost you two pound eighty five with the uh, post office. Royal Mail or Hami 330. Right, so if you don't want the hassle, you want them to send it, okay? So we've seen somebody selling for £106.31p, and okay? So we put that in there. No, no, uh, buy it now price, okay? Sorry, I put it in the wrong place. Desire profit, it should have been here. There, we put the price there, cost of Acquiring the product, buying the product, it was um, a ninety-three pound. Okay, if you work that out and see how much you, there's a button here at the bottom, so you go down to the bottom of it screen, and you hit the do the maths, do the math. Okay, there. And that will give you the profit margin. Now here, this guy, there's no way he's going to make any profit. Look, there's no way. Actually, he's literally, literally next to nothing. Look, so to make profit on that item, you have to at least sell that for £109 or plus. Let's say if we sell it for £109.95, is there any profit involved in that? Do the maths. Okay, there is some profit involved in that. So, look, to make a bit of profit, you have to sell at least £109 for that particular product. Okay? 
Now, even if you go to Argos and buy it, and then you shift it, they still cost you. Uh, the shipping cost you have to put in. So, so you're looking about 115, 100, and if you can get about 115 quid, that'd be fantastic, you know. If you were to sell it for 115, and you bought it for 93, and if you do the maths, there you go, you get about six quid back. Look. So I hope it helps you. This is how you source from Argos and sell it onto eBay. Basically, you're not competing against Argos, you're just raising up the price, okay? Using them as a supplier. Right. Thank you for watching this video and all of my other videos. I hope you like them. It's the same principle, it's exactly the same. I use this one, Argos, or use anybody else. It's, this principle is the same. You first of all look at a product, then you do all your research, and then use one of these tools, uh, and then you go and list it. Simple as that. And obviously, if you look around, you may find other places that they're selling it cheaper. So, this is how you search product from a supplier. Thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos. Please click like and subscribe button. Thank you.